fuel quantity and associated legends are indicated on liquid crystal display gauges. These gauges show the weight of usable fuel in each tank. The outer arc displays 5% increments of tank capacity and is called the range of tank display. There are 20 range marks that equal 100%. The fuel quantity indicators are tested by pressing the test button until the indicator shows ERR0. This action initiates a fuel indicator self-test. Once the test button is released, the gauges display a series of test indications that conclude in the display of normal fuel quantity. Do not test the indicators while aircraft fueling is in progress. Refer to the POM for detailed description of the test indications. A boost pump check is performed by switching the forward main tank boost pump switches to on. The forward boost pump low pressure lights extinguish, confirming the forward boost pumps are providing fuel pressure. The aft boost pump low pressure lights remain illuminated verifying the proper operation of the one-way check valves in the aft boost pumps. Repeat the same test for the aft boost pumps. The fuel crossfeed valves are battery powered and are checked by cycling tanks 1, 2 and 3 crossfeed selectors. Observe the valve in transit lights momentarily illuminate indicating valve movement. The engine fuel shutoff switches are battery powered and should be open for normal operation. The engine fuel shutoff valve in transit lights monitor valve movement. Prior to engine start, the cross feeds are positioned for a tank to engine feed with one boost pump on in each tank. After engine start with less than three engines started, the fuel cross feeds are set to maintain fuel balance. After all engines are started, positioning the boost pumps to on assures an adequate fuel supply to the engines. Provided fuel quantity in tanks 1, 2, and 3 are equal, the wing tank cross feeds are closed to provide for a tank to engine fuel feed. The number two crossfeed remains open to keep the crossfeed manifold pressurized. If tank two quantity is greater than one or three, all crossfeeds are open. With all crossfeeds open, the higher boost pump pressure from tank two overrides the wing tank pumps and feeds all three engines. When all three tank quantities are equal, the wing tank cross feeds are closed. This returns the fuel system to a tank to engine configuration and each tank supplies only its respective engine. Fuel servicing is accomplished from the external fuel station panel. Power to the external fueling station panel is controlled by a fueling power switch. Moving the switch to on powers the external fuel quantity indicators and arms the fueling shutoff valve switches. The fueling shutoff valve switches control the operation of the fueling and shutoff valves. Moving the switches to open momentarily illuminates the fueling shutoff valve in transit lights as the valves move to the selected position. A volumetric top-off system automatically terminates the fueling process when a full tank is sensed. Transferring fuel between tanks may be accomplished only on the ground. Fuel transfer is accomplished by manually opening the defuel valve which allows fuel to move from the crossfeed manifold into the fueling and dump manifold. Opening a fueling shutoff valve allows fuel to move from the fueling and dump manifold into the respective tank. 